Hey guys, Arcade Adam back with another video. And in this one today, it's going to be a quick one. We're going to talk about how to get an EHA Extreme Home Arcades Megacade for free. What the heck am I talking about? Let's get into it. So, maybe some of you guys have heard about this new thing called cryptocurrency. Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Ripple, Stellar Lumens, Dogecoin, all those guys. All the altcoins. But what the big guy is and the big deal is Bitcoin. Now, I'm not an expert or anything, but I do know a thing or two about computers. And cryptocurrency is kind of a computer thing. So, what do I mean when I say you can get a Megacade for free? Well, let's get out some calculators because we're about to do some math. You guys ready for some math? So, if you already own a Megacade, you're good to go. You've got everything you need because you've got a, basically a gaming computer inside. And one thing gaming computers are good at, other than playing games, is mining cryptocurrency. So, when you're not on your Megacade playing those awesome video games, just fire up some crypto miners. And this is what we're going to talk about today. So let's get started. So on my EHA development machine, I've got an app called Nice Hash Miner. And I know some of you experts out there are like, oh man, really? Well, this is an easy mode way to do it because I'm at basically too lazy to do it the hard way where you can run your own miner and mine your own Bitcoin and take everything without somebody else reaching in and grabbing a percent or two. But anyway, for those out there that are uninitiated, nice hash miner is a pool based miner. So basically you're renting out your computer's performance to someone else who's actually mining the Bitcoin. So you're getting paid to do the work and they're getting the, the actual raw uh, performance out of your computer, in this case, to mine Bitcoin or Ethereum or whatever they so choose. So there's a market economy for basically um, the, it, a lot of things that are me measured in kilo hashes or mega hashes, basically hashes per second or some unit of measure. Um, and your computers, like I said, all megacades have a computer that's powerful enough to do this. And of course, the more powerful the computer, the more money you get, and also the more computers you have. Maybe you're like D. Thomas and you've got an awesome gaming rig and a Megacade. Well, those are both still just gaming computers at the end of the day. With nice hash miner, you can install that on both of them and mine on both of them and get credit for both of them at the same time. Okay, so what am I talking about? Let's get some visual aids here. So I'm running nice hash miner right now. And this is the dashboard. And you can see it's just a simple go, no go button. And it tells you I have one GPU and one CPU capable of mining in this machine. And it's doing so at a rate of, uh, I believe it's micro bit hashes or uh, Bitcoin, sorry, per day. Um, I'm not confident what the M stands for, but basically what it boils down to, what it really matters is this thing is mining at a rate of $3.62 per day. Now, if you have cheap electricity, this is good. Um, I, if you have a, a value here, if you run this that's less than about a dollar, you're probably not making money because you always have to factor in how much electricity this uses because this pushes the computer to its limits. Literally more uh, power is used Bitcoin mining than it is gaming most of the time. Uh, gaming is not as stressful on the system as, as Bitcoin mining in terms of a pure power demand. Um, so anyway, back to the, the point is this thing uh, on a good day, you know, it, all, it, it depends on the valuation of Bitcoin, which keeps going up. I mean, it's done 45% in the last month, which is insane. That's There might be a bubble coming. So keep, you know, <laughs> your mileage may vary. But for now, if Bitcoin keeps going up, this number keeps going up. When I started on this box about a month ago, and I purely did so because I wasn't looking to make money, I was looking to heat my basement without paying for it. Because <laughs> this thing dumps so much heat uh, into my basement doing this, it actually heats up my basement, and I make money doing it at the same time. So I, it's like free, free heat, essentially, is what I started doing this for. And I started noticing, I'm like, wait a minute. One box is making almost $4 a day. 
and I've got a lot of arcades. I've got a virtual pin. I've got this EHA machine. I got my own arcade. I've got, there's the kids have an arcade and then I've got the racing simulator and my gaming machine. And guess what? All of them have been mining Bitcoin while we've been in this crazy deep cold, deep freeze. And my basement is probably the warmest place in Wisconsin right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, this thing's doing about a four dollar a day mine on a good day. Bitcoin, as in time, and you know, at the time of filming, is right around fifty three thousand dollars per Bitcoin. And uh, so, what does that mean? Well, let's get out our calculators. If you just use your Megacade and you have similar hardware to me, and we'll get back to that hardware in a second. But you know, well, let's just say three dollars uh, to make the math simple times 365 days oops didn't catch my three three dollars times 365 days that's almost eleven hundred dollars a year and your average megacade is you know six to eight thousand dollars let's call it seven for for this math so if you are mining bitcoin on it you take your seven thousand dollar megacade and divide it by eleven hundred bucks you're gonna get your Megacade for free in a little over six years. How's that for a return on investment? So by the time you're ready to upgrade, maybe, that thing's paid off. Just saying, there's your free Megacade. Now, where the math gets real fun uh, is if you say you have an even more powerful graphics card, um, like on my gaming rig, uh, I'll put it up on the screen here. I'll have to do some ninja edits. But I will show you what my gaming rig can do in terms of mega hashes. So the graphics card in my EHA development machine is a 2060, which is definitely a little bit more powerful than uh, the average Megacade. Uh, but if you have a gaming machine, which tends to have even more powerful graphics cards, I, for, uh, for example, have a 3080. I was lucky enough to snag one. And that thing is doing... Uh, a little over $10 a day at current Bitcoin prices. So you can see how this adds up. So I've got several machines doing three, four, five dollars a day, and then I've got one doing $10 a day. I'm netting in my setup, you know, with five or six machines mining, depending on what I'm doing, between 35 and $40 a day, just letting them sit there, heat my basement. Um, and that's definitely covering my electricity costs, which in my area is 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So if you're interested in doing some more math on this, uh, the, the other nice thing about NiceHash is they have a calculator. So we'll do NiceHash Calc, I think, comes up. And if you know the hardware in your machine or machines, not just your Megacade, they have the profitability cal calculator. So let's go ahead and enter the average Megacade. So I have, like I said, it's 13 cents per kilowatt hour. We're doing this in US currency. The average Megacade, I'm going to say, has a 1050 Ti. Um, I know some of you have 1050s and maybe lesser. And I know a lot of you guys have been upgrading to the 1660. I'll show you what that looks like in a second. But worst case scenario, you've got a 1050 Ti. And let's see what that does per day. So that's 72 cents per day. So that changes your calculation a little bit. So <laughs> if you're only doing your Megacade and you only have a 1050 Ti, uh, for, you know, let's just call this 70 cents a day. And you're doing a rate of $255 a year. And your average Mega K costs seven grand. Um, that was 255, yep. Then you're looking at a little, you know, lopsided. Your return on investment is 27 and a half years. So not great, but let's go back to this. So if you guys have those new 1660 cards, and I know a lot of you are, are not just uh, satisfied with the regular 1660. I've seen a lot of people get the Super or the TI. Um, they're, the Super and the TI are very close, but I believe the TI uh, edges it out in terms of overall performance. So we'll do best case scenario. Say you've got a 1660 TI, you're at 13 cents per kilowatt hour. And look what happens to this calculation. That Look at that huge jump in relative performance. Now you're back up to near my 2060. Um, in terms of performance, which makes sense because the 1660 and the 2060 are very similar in performance. The only difference is they turned on uh, ray tracing on the 2060, hence the RTX versus 
GTX, but that's another rabbit hole we can go down another day. Anyway, so back to that calculation, we'll call 385, oops, sorry, calculator skills. So per year, you should be back up to, um, oh, did I do the other math wrong? Or maybe am I, is my 2060 <laughs> earning less than, than 1660 Ti? I'll have to look at that. Anyway, call it $1,400 uh, a year. we got a $7,000 Megacade on average. Uh, and we're looking at a return on investment. Oh, in exactly five years. So a free Megacade in five years. And that's just running one computer. It's like I said, if you've got multiple, where the math gets real interesting, maybe you've got two or three computers with a 1660 card or better. And then stuff starts to get real interesting uh, at $12 a day or $40 a day or whatever you've got. Um, you know, minus your electricity costs, of course. And I'm, I think I'm on, I'm not the highest, but I think I'm on the high end when it comes to electricity costs for 13 cents per kilowatt hour. So check your power bill on that one. But I just, this was just a quick video, guys. I wanted to share um, the, actually let's, before I let you go, let me show you how easy it is to install this thing. Like you just go find the download, um, and their, their website's a little hard to find this, but, um, you literally download the windows client, this first link here, this nice hash miner. Oh, look, I, so that's another thing I wanted to show you. This is the, uh, actual mining process. And um, it, t it tells you, you know, if you're interested, what it's actually doing. You know, I, like I said, you're leasing your computer out to somebody mining the actual currency. So it shows you what's going on in the background. So there's two windows when you're mining. There's your dashboard and this guy. And there's really no catch all to this. Um, it tells you, it does a good job of what's going on. Like I said, you go to your devices. Technically, I can turn on my... Uh, CPU for mining, but it's such low profit for high power usage. It doesn't make sense. Oh, look, my rate went up. I'm, <laughs> the price of Bitcoin must have went up. <laughs> anyway, um, it benchmarks when you first run it. So when you first run it, you won't start mining for a good 15 or 20 minutes because it'll figure out the best algorithm for you to mine with. Um, and that's what this is uh, talking about. And then over here is all the different plugins the, basically the miners that you can use to, to mine Bitcoin. And the thing is, that's why I use this. It just handles all this automatically. I don't need to go in here and babysit this stuff. The only thing you got to do is make a nice hash account. Uh, when you first set this up, after you download the program, it has you download their mobile app on your phone. You scan the QR code on your screen to basically tie your computer to your account. And then, like I said before, you just hit this go button and it'll benchmark for 15 or 20 minutes and then you start earning money. It's that simple. That's why I do this because like I said, you can do it the hard way and mine your own. And um, I think these guys take, I don't even know if it's a full percent, but it's an inconsequential amount of money to me that they take for the tr for processing all the transactions and they have wallets. So th this um, nice hash will even set up a Bitcoin wallet for you and then you can trans transfer that directly to um, a service like Coinbase or PayPal, or there's a lot of places handling Bitcoin uh, now, and they can just transfer that right into your bank account. Or you can do what I do, and I just keep it and I invest it. I use um, this money to throw back into the market, either in Bitcoin or altcoins or whatever. So either way, uh, it's it's a great way to, to earn some uh, fun money, uh, or it's a great way to reinvest it. I mean, look at this in the course of making this video, Bitcoin's gone up 30 cents. Uh, it's a very volatile currency, but in, and obviously will go down too. Like I said, I'm afraid there's a bubble coming because it's done 45% in a month, maybe 50% now. <laughs> I haven't looked at the market this morning, but, um, the whole reason is it's, it's, it's nearly risk-free. You can just download the miner, you sign up, it deposits into an account. I guess the only risk is, you know, your electric bill and someone hacking into your account. And in that regard, I recommend setting up two factor on your nice hash account. So guys, I just wanted to share that real quick. I know my videos go long, so I'm going to try to keep this one short. Um, I know when David sees the headline of this, uh, video on YouTube, he's probably going to spit his coffee out, but obviously there's no trickery here. It's just something that's uh, interesting. And so far, you know, in terms of breaking things, um, this nice hash miner doesn't, 
uh, break anything on the games. You can't game while this is running. Well, at least 3D games. You could probably play MAME just fine while this is running in the background if you wanted to try that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to game on your arcade, obviously pause this and then go play or pause it and then reboot. It doesn't launch on startup or anything. It just waits for you to launch it. Um, it's just something that I wanted to share with you guys as a, a fun, you know, half kidding way of like getting getting a, uh, your Mega Cade paid for. So have fun. Hit me up in the comments if you got any questions. Tell me what you guys are getting for your hash rates. Um, you know, in the course of filming this video, look at this, it, keep, it just keeps going up. Uh, so I don't know if that's the uh, efficiency of the uh, miner or the, the uh, Bitcoin market itself or maybe a little both. But free money is free money, right, guys? Um, just get your electric bills paid for and I'll see you guys in the next one.